What's going on guys? Welcome back. Chris here at Colabola South Farm. Well guys, we're due to get some rain here shortly, but we are going to go out <clears throat> this morning and see if we can't uh, get a bunch of raking done. We, uh, we raked a whole bunch of the south field yesterday. Got that pretty well raked out. I got probably 10-15% of the field left to do. Um, so we're going to head down and do that. Uh, we did pick up a new rake last week. We got this uh, Land Pride LR1684. Um, luckily, the Kubota dealer had these right in stock. Um, the deer dealer did not have any rakes at all, like couldn't even get them. So we kind of got lucky that was in stock and uh, Land Pride is real good stuff. Um, I'm not real brand loyal, you know, I'd prefer to deal with the same dealership, but if they don't have what I need and somebody else does, I'll absolutely go for it. So I think we're gonna head down to the south field and continue raking. Um, get that hopefully finished raked and uh, seeded today. We actually picked up a new seeder I'll show you as well. Um, got the grapple fixed yesterday. So got all these, the uh, cracked welds ground out and, and re-welded. So we should be good there. So we're gonna throw this grapple on and uh, that way we can go pick up and move our piles. Because um, right now there is several piles down there of debris from raking. Um, I tried to move some of it with the bucket as best I could but it's hard with the bucket. So anyway, guys, that's probably what we're gonna be doing this morning. Uh, hopefully we can beat the rain and then we can use this. We just picked up this um, pull behind cedar yesterday. I really wanted to get a tractor mount one, a three point hitch tractor mount, but those are running like 800 bucks now and I can't justify spending that much money. I think this one was like two. Um, and you know, I gotta have something big enough to do large amount of acreage. Uh, you know, our little hand cedar is just not going to cut it. So this should work. Um, we can tow it behind the Can-Am or the, uh, the Polaris Sportsman that is almost back together and uh, go from there. So anyway, guys, I'm going to throw the grapple on the tractor here and uh, we'll head down and get raking.
All right, guys. So yeah, it did start raining here. Um, and any little bit of rain down there where we've been raking will turn that into a muddy mess. So uh, that's probably gonna end our raking. I would have liked to get a little bit more raked. Um, there's a couple kind of low-lying wet spots that are pretty wet. We had to kind of stay out of because the tractor was making ruts. They're fairly clean, but they're not as quite as clean as I would like, but they should be sufficient. Um, so we're gonna work on getting our new cedar here set up and uh, then we can go spread some seed. Um, we're actually going to use a mix of like a contractor uh, grass plus some red clover. And then I have like half a bag of actual hayfield grass left over from last year. So that's what we're gonna use down there. Um, eventually the upper field, uh, when we get that ready to seed that, um, which I don't know if we're gonna get that done in time before I have to go back overseas. We're gonna do that with a, a field grass and an alfalfa mix, because I want that to be eventually a hay field that we could take hay off of. So I definitely wanna get some alfalfa mixed in there. So anyway, guys, we'll get this cedar hooked up and uh, and uh, get the K&M hooked up to the cedar and uh, we'll go put some seed down there. All right, guys, so uh, the rain has stopped and it has turned into an absolutely glorious day, uh, like 66, 67 degrees. We didn't really get much rain, which was great. And uh, so yeah, now we're gonna get to seeding. So uh, we got the cedar all put together and hooked up. And I added, I had some of this pasture mix left over, um, which actually the mice got into and tore the bag open. It was a new bag, but we definitely lost some. Then I have some uh, red clover seed here, and I have basically a uh, contractor's mix there. So we filled up the cedar here. Uh, I think there's probably roughly about 30 to 40 um, pounds in there right now. It's pretty full, and I think this holds up to 75. So this whole hopper should do most of this grass. I'm gonna overseed it a little bit more than um, uh, what what is recommended. It's basically recommended to do 25 pounds per acre. This is an acre, uh, acre and a half. So that should be basically about 35 pounds, 35, 40 pounds. So anyway, uh, we're gonna test this out. We may have to adjust the rate a few times. Um, I'm not sure I left the book back at the shop. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna basically give this thing a shot and see how it works and see what our coverage looks like and uh, go from there. All right, guys, so we did a quick test pass. We were definitely a little heavy. So we cut the cedar back quite a bit and uh, we'll try again. I'm gonna put you guys up on the back of the Can-Am. Can you, you can kind of watch as uh, the seating progresses. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up. Uh, you know, like I said, I wish we could have raked it a little better. It's a little rougher when you're actually seeding it, but it's not terrible. On um, 80% of it's in, in pretty smooth. So I think we're good, but we got it all seeded. I think uh, we're actually gonna take advantage of this really nice day to uh, finally clean out, of all, clean out all of our sugar and stuff. Uh, we still have yet to, you know, clean it, rinse it, and wash it good, just because we haven't had a nice warm day. So I think we're gonna work on that this afternoon, uh, get that all cleaned up. So anyway, guys, like I like to say, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave us a comment, tell us what you think. And just remember, it'll be all right.